Greetings, children of the screen. Your friendly neighborhood nerd scum here once again. And I just finished watching Batman Cape Crusader. This is not going to be a full-on review, and I'm not going to give any big spoilers. Anything I'm going to say here are things that you would know just from watching any of the basic promotionals or anybody else just talking about a spoiler-free review of this show. I finished it today, binged the whole thing, and it is awesome. It is potentially the best animated series we've had for Batman since Batman, the animated series. This season is amazing, and it is, in my opinion, a modern-day classic. And if you don't like it, you can get fucked! If you don't like the 1930s, 1940s noir aesthetic, then you can get fucked. If you don't like the more modern take on Bruce Timm's style of character design, then you can get fucked. If you don't like the more mature, complex tone and take on these characters as well as the world they inhabit, then you can get fucked. If you don't like that the Gordons are black again, you can get fucked. If you don't like that Barbara Gordon is a lawyer and claim that it destroys her character despite the fact that in the comics she went to law school, graduated, took the bar, and legally became licensed as an attorney, then you can get fucked. If you don't like that the Batcave is based on the 1940s serials, the first incarnation of Batman on the big screen, you can get f -f 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 If you think that it ruins this version of the character of Penguin because it's a woman, but you were totally fine with it when they literally turned Penguin into a weird mutant penguin man who lives in the sewer with clowns, or a Sammo Hung style overweight flying around doing kung fu guy in the Batman, then you can get proper fucked. If you don't like that they use the original Clayface, Basil Carlo, one of the best Golden Age Batman stories, one of my personal favorites, that is done absolutely perfectly here, then you can go and get fucked. If you don't like the classical pre-jumpsuit Catwoman costume, you can get fucked. And if you don't like that they gave Alfred a dad bod, made him fat or chunky, which is very much in keeping with his original appearance in comics, then guess what? You can also get fat. If you don't like that Harley Quinn predates the Joker and is a fully formed character before she ever meets him or is abused by him, and instead is a well-developed, deep, and rich character that maintains all the main tenets of that character except for her connection to Joker, which DC Comics has been trying to get rid of because it makes her problematic for years, then you can get fucked. If you don't like... The Golden Age Batman costume, specifically the little gloves, even though it could have been worse, they could have been purple, although I would have loved that. I love those gloves. Golden Age Batman's fucking awesome. You can get fucked. If you don't like that they used Firebug instead of Firefly, then you can get fucked. And if you don't like that, along with another Bruce Tim produced iconic retelling of the Harvey Dent story, that they changed it so that the scarred, messed up side of his face is the good side, you can get and last but not least, if this video has pissed you off, then you can get fucked hard. Because getting fucked isn't always a bad thing. In fact, I quite enjoy it sometimes. And if you were able to get pissed off by something like this show and just were able to ignore everything else around it, then you clearly need to let off some steam. So please go and get fucked. <laughs> So obviously this video is just for fun. I'm just kind of picking on a lot of the kind of mundane, tiny quibbles about the show that people are blowing up into giant proportions. And yes, I absolutely love this show, but I also have maybe a wider knowledge of the different variations of all the different Batman characters and the different eras. And so for me, a lot of these things that for other people are brand new things that are really shocking and would like mess with them, I've been aware of them and loved them for years. And at the same time, I really love the way that this show has taken all of those elements and mixed them with what we expect out of modern media in a really smart, interesting way that adds new levels to these characters and to the world and allows a new audience to invest more easily in this universe. I love that stuff. But at the same time, as I've said many times here on the channel, you don't have to like what I like or dislike what I dislike. Everybody's different, and I can definitely see that this show would not be for everybody. So if you didn't like it, it's just a joke, man. Go love what you love. Put your energy into it. I just thought this would be funny.
Anyway, children of the screen, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it and as much as I enjoyed Batman the Cape Crusader. And you know what? After a day of watching this show on binge and of making this video, I can only think of one thing that would make it better. So, children of the screen, I'm going to go get fucked. Nerds go.